A neighborhood is on alert after a high school student says she was attacked on her way to the bus. Tonight, there are no arrests. Lindsay Shively is live in the neighborhood where it all happened near 291 in Leonard Road. Lindsay. Mark, it really isn't that far of a walk from this girl's home down to the bus stop, down this sidewalk to this intersection. It didn't take much time, though, just those couple of blocks for a high schooler to become attacked, to escape with scrapes, but deep emotional scars. What started as a morning walk to the bus stop. My daughter's not going to ride a bus no more. Has changed the Ortiz family forever. Don't want to imagine what would happen if she didn't put up that fight. His 15 year old daughter says a stranger suddenly beelined toward her across a neighbor's yard, pulled a knife, and tried to stab her, then grabbed her sweatshirt and pulled her into the woods. I'm very sure she was fighting him every bit of the way. She tried to get away, and he was on top of her. She fought free and ran back home to tell her father. He's going to get caught. You can't, you can't hide in liberty. My junior would have been at, the, uh, at that bus stop when it happened this morning. Cindy Gabbard is a school bus driver and a neighbor in a neighborhood where people are scared. Now we are replacing all of our locks. I checked the sex offender website. I think we're going to take turns and just watch out for the kids. <laughs> she was very brave. And I want her to know if she ever needs a ride to school, I'd be more than happy to take her. You should not let me leave her side. You know, um, I'm her protector. And I was a third this morning to protect her, but they better catch him before I do. Police have released a description of this man. They say he is in his 40s. Uh, he has a receding hairline with salt and pepper colored hair. He was wearing a flannel shirt or jacket, and his jeans were splattered with paint. We talked to school district officials today who say the five nearest schools to this area kept their students inside today. They also had extra security and police uh, more heavily patrolling the areas right around here. Just three school bus stops within a couple of blocks. Tomorrow, they want parents in this district to. No, business continues as usual. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News.